Hello, we are here with uh, Roberto Lent. He is the local organizing committee chair. So, Roberto, you are a professor at the Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro. What type of work does your university do with uh, Ibro? Well, my university has, is very strong in neuroscience. It has about uh, 30 different research groups uh, working in different aspects of neuroscience. So, uh, perhaps because of this uh, reason, Ibro uh, accepted to our um, uh, proposal to host the Congress in Rio. This decision was taken four years ago in Florence, where uh, the, the last uh, Congress uh, took place. And, um, and so, uh, that's the reason why uh, the university is highly involved with, the, with, the, with this Congress. But of course, uh, there are much more, in, there's much more in Brazil, many different uh, neuroscience groups in different universities and uh, all the neuroscience community in, in Brazil is participating of the meeting. And what is your involvement about this? Because you are the local organizing committee chair. Yeah, well, I'm in charge, I'm the responsible for the whole Congress. I'm in charge of uh, organizing things and uh, make things happen. and and I'm the one to be blamed on the, on the mistakes. <laughs> Roberto, how do you think the Ibro organization helps the world of brain research? Well, Ibro is a very important organization for two reasons. First of all, it's a, a world organization, an international organization, uh, that um, gathers uh, all kinds, all different countries in the world. That's one thing. The other thing is that Ibro is very involved in fostering neuroscience in developing countries. So we have here the presence of uh, neuroscientists and students from uh, Africa, from Asia, from Latin America. And uh, the fact itself that the Congress is taking place here in Brazil for the first time in Latin America reflects this uh, policy by, by Ibro. So that's the reason why it's a very important uh, organization. Thank you, thank you very much. Enjoy the Congress. Okay, thank you.